What's up? My name is Technobay here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how you can enroll for the Minecraft Bedrock Beta, allowing you to try new features and things like that. At the time of recording, you can start testing out some 1.19 features in the Minecraft Bedrock Beta client, which of course you aren't able to do anywhere else without modding different clients. This is the official way of doing things, so a lot of people are going to be Googling how they can join the Minecraft Beta. That's exactly what this video is going to show you here from start to end. How exactly do we get it? Well, it's very simple. As long as you own Minecraft for Windows 10 on the Microsoft Store, you're able to get it. And if you don't currently own this, good news for you, the Xbox Game Pass is soon going to have it. And that's pretty much like $1.50 for your first month. So you're able to try out some of these features relatively soon, as soon as Minecraft's added to the Xbox Game Pass. Regardless, when you own the game, click the search button in the top right of your Microsoft Store, and we'll be searching for the Xbox Insider Hub. We'll click this, and we'll go ahead and install this. This is so we can get beta versions of the Minecraft Bedrock client. Then simply launch it up. Then we click join, scroll through the conditions and accept. And on the left hand side, we just need to click previews. Then after your account information loads, you should see a couple of previews here that you're eligible for, including the Minecraft Windows 10 beta program. Click this, click join, continue. Then we can click manage and you can see we currently have the beta program selected. If at any point you'd like to leave, simply come back here and click leave preview. So for now, I'll leave this as is, save, and we can close out of the Insider app. Heading back to the Windows Store, you can see that there's currently an update for Minecraft Windows 10 downloading. You may need to manually start this or unpause it, but when this update completes, you should be part of the new Minecraft Bedrock Beta. There we have it. Now we can fire up Minecraft and we can generate a world with these brand new features. Unfortunately, there's a couple of limitations that come with the Bedrock version compared to the Java version. And there we have it. You can see I'm on the menu of the new Minecraft beta. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you found this video useful. My name has been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!